What's up guys? Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully well. Uh, I'm just doing uh, doing a little bit of driving. Uh, hopefully you guys are uh, happy right now with uh, all the crypto prices going up. I mean, that's it was expected, you know, but it took took a little longer than I thought, but that was, you know, it was still pretty much exactly what, what was expected. Bitcoin went up a little too fast, and then it took a breather, and now it's going to go up. It's going to grind up, I think. It's going up pretty quickly, though, ever since it did start going up again. Um, it's going to grind up, though, I think, and it's going to have to pass the uh, resistances that are ahead. Um, the strongest one is around the 56,000 level. Once, once, if we get past that, um, it's off to the races, and we're we're gonna see 80, 80,000, 90,000 dollar Bitcoin. So, um, I'm I'm thinking that's what we're gonna see. I'm looking forward to it. Alt season has not begun. We, we're gonna see another crazy alt season, probably uh, within. Uh, couple months you know um, there's a there's a few different alts Vesper finance I've been really liking that one I've been liking the chart um, I started dollar cost averaging when it was like 40 bucks now it's eight dollars and so um, that's a good one though if you take a look at their uh, at their app vesper.finance and the ease of use and and just all the suites that they're um, creating for the average user but they're just really integrating all sorts of different protocols um, to get to get you the easiest what the heck okay to get you the easiest uh, yielding farms that they can find basically uh, and and decently they have conservative pools and they have uh, also um, aggressive pools, and so they're just they're just getting started. It's um, Jeff Garzik, who you know he's a Bitcoin Core developer. I posted a video a few days ago uh, of him being interviewed on the Defiant with um, Camilla Russo. I love her; she's awesome. Okay, hold on. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, now I see. Um, I mean, that was a great interview and it showed a lot of professionalism and they're trying to do everything right. And it's obviously it's, they've been, uh, they, they've been audited and they, they're, you know, doc, they have already doxed themselves basically. So famous people, Matthew Garzik, Matthew Rosnick too. He's a billionaire VC investor. Uh, he, he backs the, uh, he backs Vesper Finance too. So it's a good, it's a good up and coming DeFi protocol it's a very very uh, low market cap guys very low market cap um, so that one and then there's this other one called Olympus Dow dot finance and, and it's amazing passive income um, 18,000 percent it's been like that the whole last month that I've been staking it the more you stake the more you make um, you know I'm making a whole month's rent in a few in like two days you know <laughs> just from staking um, now the only thing I don't like about it only thing I don't like is that it, the team is mostly is mostly anonymous and I don't like that because uh, don't, that, that's when things could get rug pulled so I don't put I haven't put a whole like too much into it you know but I am enjoying that passive income um, so that's the only thing I would I would uh advise caution using caution is that the team is mostly uh, not they're mostly anonymous so we always want to be careful with that because that could be a rug pull in the making but they are uh, the community is passionate and big and large um chico crypto did a video on it uh, there's a ton of videos out there if you want to check that out and uh what else what else we got? So Cardano is going to have a big September. It's already blowing up. XRP should have a big, big, just run from here, from here on out. Especially once they drop the case. 
which you know I, I think I think they, they the whole case was to drop the price and let people buy in I think but uh, you know I could be wrong but we'll see because that's exactly what happened it dropped and it really hasn't been p performing too well compared to the rest of the alts um, but it has been actually it's been doing better than I thought it would do so it, it's doing better than I thought for being under fire from the SEC but the whole cryptocurrency universe needs Ripple to win this lawsuit or you know it's just gonna be rough times ahead for cryptocurrency in general and crypto holders um, and developers all that uh, and then we also got Stellar just being quiet as usual but following XRP um, Algo still pretty low not making any huge moves I think Cosmos is probably gonna start doing very well um, we got uh, there's a few that I don't hold but like Akash AKT um, I know GDLT loves that one and um, Ran, Ran Nooner from uh, Crypto Banter he's he's into that one too um, UOS is doing well and it's all right now UOS has a main net so they're gonna actually be it's gonna be their own token I guess on, on their own blockchain I, I believe or we'll say, I'm not really sure I gotta check that out a little more but we're, we're gonna see I think the next two months are gonna be pretty good looking for us guys I think we're gonna have smiles on our faces the next few months and uh, you know the, the last three months were pretty brutal to be honest they were brutal but I was not worried one bit because it's just following the cycle, you know, and I, I think this could end up being some kind of super cycle. It really could. Um, it really could, you know, it's uh, it's getting interesting out there, guys. So, so anyways, uh, anyways, just wanted to give you a little update on what I think about the market. What else is there? There's a few others. Uh, you know, DeFi is going to go crazy. Um, NFTs are going crazy already. Don't buy meme. That's the one I like. That's my meme token. I mean, that's my NFT token uh, project that I love. And uh, but tomorrow is the anniversary of it. So price might go. It might start going up. I don't know. We'll see. I hope so. Because <laughs> I've been waiting for a while now. Um I'm, ex I'm expecting that one to go to like $40,000 at least. So right now it's only 400 bucks or something like that. So that would be 100x. Um, and I believe that's possible. It's, uh, there's only 28,000 tokens in circulation. They're all in circulation already. That's the max supply. It's a NFT farming, yield farming project. So it's all, it's DeFi, NFTs. It's just all that wrapped in one and they've been making so much there's been so much going on with it a lot of drops from popular nft artists that i, I just don't see how it cannot uh succeed in the future um, and nfts are going nuts right now i mean I, I mean i'm getting offers on nfts that i that i purchased back last september and I haven't got offers on them yet, and I'm starting to get offers on them finally. So NFT fever, or NFT mania, is is finally here. It's starting to, it, it's here, and it's probably going to be here for a good little while. Crypto punks are going nuts with sales. I mean, literally, million. They're going for millions and millions of a piece. It's crazy. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. And that's too much. <laughs> but that's what it is. And, um, and DeFi is going to be big too. DeFi, Comp, Comp's going to be big. Comp's one to look out for. Uh, Ren, Ren's going to, Ren is a super low price right now. Ren's a good, probably a good buy right now. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this is just for education purposes. Um, and also AMP, AMP has been creating a support around six cents. And I do believe it's a good buy. It's a good buy. I don't think it's going to go much lower unless Bitcoin just dies out of nowhere. Just, <laughs> just dives off a cliff. And I don't see that happening either. Uh, it's going to probably come down to find some support 
maybe. It keeps grinding against 46,000, so I don't know. But anyways, guys, uh, AMP is doing good. It's, you guys, uh, AMP, AMP is going to be big. And most of you guys probably have no idea how big it's going to be, but it's going to be big. <laughs> it's already big, but no, it's not. This is nothing, nothing for what they're aiming to do and the partnerships and merchants that they're planning to announce. And, and you know, they have a lot under the hood, um, especially with their DeFi protocol and their collateralization token, AMP, uh, the AMP token. And with it, they're completely staying within regulations. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting being an amp holder in the future all right guys uh that's that's about it for now i'm going to continue driving and uh it's a beautiful day so if if you're indoors and you know uh you need to get some vitamin d go outside take a bike ride do something walk take a walk <laughs> waka waka <laughs> all right guys love you have a wonderful day i'll talk to you later crypto mike out peace